What are you doing up? You're supposed to be resting. I saw Meg. What? What do you mean you saw I was Meg? sleeping and I had one of my visions and I saw Meg. Where was she? She was at the beach. Honey, Derek Coburn told no, us last no, night. No, no, you don't understand. I saw the cottage where James is keeping her. And how do you know it was a vision and not a dream? Because I know the difference. And it wasn't a dream. She's there, Mom. I know it. Snyder. Hey, it's Paul. I think I have something for you. What is it? Well, it's going to sound a little weird, but I had a vision. No, I understand. Go on. Okay, I saw the cottage where James is keeping Meg. I know she's there. Can you describe it? In detail. You at home? Yep. All right, stay put. Uh, I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Good news, I hope. Maybe. Listen, um, can I maybe take a shower or something to, to wake me up? Yeah, of course. Whatever you need. Thanks. Wait, you can't blame Derek for what happened. Yes, I can. He trapped us in that nasty warehouse and he kept Henry prisoner in that basement. No, James Stimbeck did that, not Derek. Stimbeck gave the orders, Bonnie. Derek carried them out, so he deserves to be punished. No, but you said yourself that the first chance that he got, he let you go and he led you straight to the warehouse to find us, right? Yeah, that's true, Bonnie, but... Uh, well, but I, nothing. I, Derek is as much of a victim of James Stimbeck as we are. He deserves second chance. That's not what this is about. This is about you having the hots for that thug. No, I'm here as his lawyer. You don't sound like a lawyer. You sound like a desperate woman. If you want us to help you, admit that you burn with desire for Derek. Are you kidding me? Why, why, why do you care who Bonnie burns for, sweetheart? Because if she's after Derek, she's not after you. Trust me, she is not after me. I want to hear her say it. <sighs> Fine, all right, okay, yes. I burn with desire for Derek. Now, can you please help me? With pleasure. Okay. Sally, your new book, Making Amends, is easier than making excuses. I love it. I like the picture on the cover. Of course you do. Now, Sally, can you explain to our audience why the topic of making amends is so relevant? You say in the book it's because of the Internet? Absolutely. When people post on a website, they can say whatever they choose. They can write horrible things about anyone and think they never have to answer for it. Yes, and so as a result, they feel like they never have to admit to doing anything wrong. Maybe some of these people who are complaining about getting hurt should stop being so sensitive. Oh, I think insensitivity is the problem, you were saying? Um, well, the first step is to apologize sincerely. That's always a great place to start. I agree. Well, you know, don't okay, you? Yeah, Sally, don't you think there's something to be said for just being able to let things go? Thank you for the shower. Boys are out of shampoo. I'll add that to my list, thanks. <laughs> thanks for letting me crash. Bending your ear. It's my pleasure, Jack. Good luck with Paul. I hope something comes of it. And me too. Okay. Uh, hey, I got a question for you. If, if Paul were to describe this, this cottage from his vision, do you think maybe he'd be able to do a, a sketch of it? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I do those sorts of things as a designer. I think I could do it, yeah. Well, you think you might want to give it a shot now? I mean, you could always say no. No, yes, I'll do it. Anything to help. Let's go. See now, Meg? There's nothing for miles. It's you and me. 